What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Grey Man Operations. The Urban Warrior EDC Ready Jeans is pretty much the best jeans for EDC I've ever owned and could actually be the best pair of jeans I've ever owned. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to get straight into the review. Stay tuned to the end where I'll tell you exactly where and how to get your hands on this. And if you're a patron, you definitely want to come back at the end. Let's switch the view and review this awesome jeans. Okay, guys, let's get straight into it because this jeans has a ton of features that I have to show you. So I'm going to start from the top down. Some of the, the shots I'm going to have my t-shirt tucked in. Some I'm not going to have tucked in. First and foremostly, the waistband. So the waistband is... Fused. What that means is that there is a, a piece of fusing inside the actual waistband and that just helps keep everything firm around your waist. So it just aids with the concealment of your firearm. I'm going to reference a pair of old khaki jeans. These are a pair of old khaki stretch jeans that sort of were the only jeans I could wear when trying to EDC. And what I mean is in the actual waistband, there's a piece of fusing which helps it to be a bit more firm. So when you are wearing your firearm, everything is held in place nicely. Okay, so with a firearm off, you can see that the center part of the waistband has a wide open space. This is to allow for pretty much any size appendix inside the waistband rig. Some people carry a knife in here as well, and some rigs are just super wide. This has no belt loops in this area so you have all this real estate here to put in your appendix rig on the belt loops they obviously are wide enough to fit a standard core 1.5 inch belt but they are also wide this way if you look at this belt loop and you compare it to a standard jeans belt loop you'll see that the urban warrior edc ready jeans has a belt loop that's twice as thick that's because you're going to be carrying a lot of weight on your belt and you want that added support for the actual belt as well because that support will then support your firearm and keep everything tucked in and comfortable and keep that weight off your lower back the denim itself is stretchy it's actually very stretchy and that's super useful not just for everyday life comfort but for everyday carriers if you are in a situation where you need to get behind cover or get into a compromised position you don't want your outfit to prevent you from being able to do that. Now onto the front pockets. So the front pockets sit lower than a standard jeans pocket. I'll show you a standard jeans in a second. So they sit lower, but also you'll notice there's a piece for you to put your hand in, but there's also this, this sort of piece here that, that's parallel to the ground or perpendicular to the side seam. That is for you to put your gear. So your gear sits vertical. You don't want it to sit at an angle like that because even if you have a knife like this that has the snaggle tooth um, assisted opener, it makes life so much easier when your gear sits down the seam line of your pants because it's out of the way and because these pockets are wider and lower, it means you can get your hands in and it doesn't affect the gear that you have inside your pockets. Compared to a standard pair of jeans if you look at this pocket do you see how shallow that is right whereas if you look at this you can see how deep that is so you can carry quite sizable gear in your pockets and tuck your hand in now what's super cool is as you can see if you're wearing an urban warrior t-shirt no, no one sees anything but there are these two side utility pockets which are very cool these pockets are about as deep as this pin on both sides and you can actually see the stitching cut out so the nice part is you'll notice these pockets are higher than your actual side pockets because they sit on the side and they do sit on the side so if you do sit down you aren't going to be sitting on your gear they sit on your hips but the cool part because they're higher if you do that with the urban warrior general t-shirt no one sees what you're carrying in those pockets so you can carry your leatherman you can carry a pen if you want to. It will fit a Glock mag very snugly. Just to show you. You can get a Glock mag in there. It fits super snug. It will also fit a Canic mag. If you want to put a Canic mag in there. It, the Canic actually goes in there a bit nicer because it's slightly a bit smaller. But you can run a spare mag and no one's 
the wiser, right? Because those pockets are raised, you can't really see it if you're wearing just a standard Urban Warrior general t-shirt. So come back to the center again, guys. This is going to be a crotch shot. The zip is extra long. So if you, if I go from the bottom of the zip to where the top of the button is, it's pretty much that big, right? If I compare that to a standard pair of jeans, if I take the zip down, take the zip all the way down, that is a standard pair of jeans versus the Urban Warrior EDC Ready jeans, which is quite substantially more. For the guys, that's very important because if you are carrying in the appendix position, it can sometimes be a bit difficult to work around a situation if you need to use the men's room. Also, what's cool is this has a press stud style button. It doesn't have those, those buttons that stand out because if you are carrying a firearm, this button will push out quite a bit. So it's got a fairly flat press stud style button that's easy to open and easy to close. Obviously, Urban Warrior has the front pocket, which you can use as a wallet pocket, but it's not to stand out. The stitching is pretty much the same color as the, the pair of jeans itself. It's so well hidden, you can't even really tell that there is a pocket stitch there. You just see the zip. Both zips, by the way, are YKK, so super high quality zips. The back pockets have a, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a piece of material on the inside, right? This is like an anti-theft uh, piece of material. So if you put your, your wallet in your back pocket, in order to retrieve it, you actually have to push it up against yourself and pull out. You can't reach in and pull backwards because it'll get hooked on that, that piece of material. And it actually works really well. I've been carrying my wallet in my back pocket with this because even when I try to take it out, you see it gets it gets kind of hooked up on that that um, little piece of material that's on the inside. So I actually have to push it towards my myself and then pull it out. So that's that's quite clever. And then these pockets are nice and flush. They don't like hang out. They they're quite tight to your body. And then what's really cool, but I'm not going to really be able to show you this, is the jeans is actually gusseted. There's actually a, a hidden gusset in here. If you buy it, you'll see it. But that just means that it's super comfortable, super stretchy, super strong. And what's cool is you order this through to size, guys. Like, I'm not even wearing a belt, but you can see it doesn't hang down. It still fits me as a pair of jeans should because it has stretch. If you're size 34, you order size 34 and it can fit your firearm. As you can see, same jeans with a belt now comfortably fits the firearm and we're good to go. And what I like about this is this jean supports everything. Like you know sometimes people say you mustn't look too tactical, but think about it this way. If someone needs a Leatherman, I've got a Leatherman for them. If someone needs a flashlight, I've got a flashlight for them. If a situation calls for a firearm, I am good to go in that regard. If I need a knife, the knife's there. If for whatever reason I need a pen, I've got a pin, but if I'm standing in front of you with an Urban Warrior General T and an Urban Warrior EDC Red Jeans, does it really look to you like I'm carrying all this gear? I look like a normal dude wearing a t-shirt. And that is basically the point where other companies are companies that make clothes that you can also EDC gear with Urban Warrior, make their clothes specifically for everyday carry. This has got to be the best pair of jeans I've ever tried since my EDC journey began. And then guys, with regards to the legs, it's definitely not a slim fit jeans, but it is a bit tailored. So you do fit in a bit more. It looks like more of a standard high quality jeans. It's not as baggy as a pair of cargo pants. So you can wear it formally, semi-formally. You can wear it with a shoe. You can wear it with a boot. You can wear it with um, a tacky. You can wear this with Magnum boots. I've worn it with Bronx and Cats as well. It does go over the cuff of the boot quite comfortably and it just looks like a nice classy nondescript high quality pair of jeans so guys that's the urban warrior edc ready jeans it's on my website it's incredibly well priced www.graymanoperations.com i don't want to say what the price is on this video because if the price changes then someone can basically hold urban warrior to ransom and say well it's been advertised at the price that I might say on this video so go and check it out on my website it's really really well priced for what you're getting if you are a patron, remember, 
you get a 10% discount on anything on my website. Just DM me on Patreon if you want to join on Patreon. It's the first link in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. And it's the first comment on Facebook or Instagram. Next weekend on Patreon, I'm giving away a mechanic red dot. And then in November, I'm giving away eight pairs of this Urban Warrior EDC ready jeans to my patrons. Two pairs a week. That is... No one is, I keep saying, no one in South Africa is giving away gear to the level I'm giving away gear on Patreon. So, if you are a patron, definitely check out uh, or stay tuned for that. If you want to become a patron, check the links down below. Guys, the nice thing about Urban Warrior is they are 100% South African. From where the material is purchased to where it's made to who is making it. There's no made in China, there's no made in Malaysia and all those things. Every single cent goes back into the local South African economy. And as the African, that's a really, really big deal for me. So if you are looking for your next pair of super comfortable jeans that you want to EDC your gear with, definitely give this a look. That is it, guys. I'll see you soon for another review. Also, I'll see you next week for another review. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.